what is up what is going on what's the deal welcome back to another bounty pirates video let's go with that we're gonna stick with that and we're gonna run with that uh this game can be very convoluted in certain ways adding different banners with multiple tickets different ways you can get tickets for those banners so i'm just gonna shoot through some things and uh, maybe do some more videos on some of the different modes. If there's anything in particular you guys need to know about, put it in the comments below. Don't be afraid, I'll see it. And then we'll uh, we'll figure this thing out. Either way, without further ado's, let's do it. All right, first things first, you log in, you wanna do your tasks, you wanna check your daily missions and start getting all of the things that you have unlocked completed. They're usually pretty simple. You can either rush them or start it, click back to the main menu, and then focus on something else. Once you do that, you start getting these rewards for more EXP, more uh, Lucky Wheel tickets, and all this great things here. Now we drop down to the weekly events, and it's the same deal. Tells you what you sort of need to do. Go ahead and get it, get those rewards, and then clear out there. Uh, this is the main quest. These are pretty straightforward. Uh, clear the floors, reach level 80. All these are, you know, these are things that'll pop up as you're sort of going along anyway. All right, lastly, over here in challenge mode, this is all gonna be PVP related uh, for blueprints for your ships. You're gonna want those, and of course, belly. You need that to level up your characters as well as the character EXP and to buy other things from the shop. So this is very important. All right, after that, come over here to the events tab. Uh, these things don't really light up unless you, uh, you, you click one of the missions and just happen to complete it. But you wanna come over here and check just to remember and see what's going on. All right, this is the basic just level up. That's not a problem. Okay, uh, Ascension Gifts. This is number two on the list. Uh, we'll come back to that. And hey, we'll come back to this one as well. All right, so you got to check because the ones down here below are specific to events that are currently going on. So this one ends in one day and five hours. And this one basically has to do with dispatching uh, your characters on the voyages. And that's part of the story mode. Then we have here Ascension Master. Uh, we got eight, eight more days in this, but I've seen this one here before. Uh, you just sort of have the heroes and if you have them send it, then you get the rewards for it. Then of course here we have the login gift. That's just basically straightforward. Every day you log in, come here, you get the gifts. And then lastly, the memory coin. Uh, this is for the event that's currently going on and you get these once again through the main stage. Last time it was shells and that's how I got the copy of Ace. And you sort of see what's all in here. Uh, I would prioritize this based on sort of what you need. These are always good. Uh, the gold coin is always good. It's not going to be many of those in here. If you need the character, uh, go for it. Otherwise, 250 sort of can be really steep. I wouldn't even mess with this here unless you've already farmed out everything else because this is just a random five star shard. If you need a random hero that could possibly help you out, you don't know what you're going to get in here. You don't know what faction it's going to be for. But, you know, if you want to do that with your coins, go for it. And like I said, the belly is really important. So that's what I went with so I can level up some characters. And uh, we still got two more days to this, but but right here, when you collect feeds, uh, it's just RNG. I don't know. You don't really get a certain amount per level. You see, this time I've only got five in here. Uh, I've come back here in times before it was completely full and I've had 36. Like, it's really random. And you see, I got a rune here. So you start to see where you get all the other goodies, just sort of what drops. Okay, and if you saw... We have right now, uh, Wano Mihawk is coming. They put a list in the post uh, and the title screen. Here's a look at that. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be another event like this with uh, Wano Kuzan. Uh, you guys know you get the free draws here. Then after that, it's 400, then 4,000. Uh, every time you draw, you get one of these coins. What you do with those, you go to the shop here and you can exchange those for a ticket or you can exchange those for a a shard of whatever character you want and start uh, working towards unlocking them. So these events seem to be coming back. So you don't have to choose the main character that's out. You can go ahead and <clears throat> you can go ahead and do that. So I like to do sometimes is see if I get a little lucky, take three of these coins, get me a ticket here. And then I got one draw, so I can go ahead and do that. And I got 30, uh, four star pieces these are just random pieces and as you can see here went up from 15 to 16 so essentially uh drawing 50 times will get you this 25 pieces i don't know if this is random or if you actually get to select which one you want but it's 25 shards towards getting that character 
and the more you draw you go up here and you get all of these you look at the ranking rewards so wherever you place in the top uh <laughs> rewards here uh these are this is what you get okay and that's sort of how that works now we head back over to <laughs> the events list right here and this ends in one day five hours so essentially none of this unlocks until you pull five star um uh, Kuzan, right? So you get this for free. Okay. And then if you want, once you have them, you can buy these to help you upgrade because he's a UR character. I don't have any UR characters, but I know that regular characters, once they start getting leveled up, they need these or at least an equivalent of a unit who is at this level to send them. And uh yeah, so if you want 11 star any <laughs> UR or Kuzan, you can sort of see the picture here. Looks like you're gonna need a lot of these, but they do give you some for free as you tear up with the rewards. So something to think about if that's what you want to do. All right, over here in the tavern, we have the wish draw, which is added. And you see here, this is the currency for the wish draw. These are the tickets here. You can also use your gems and that's 3000. Now, how this works is what you do is you go to your wish list. You select a character. I have chosen Hano Luffy because I kind of want to get him as a tank, even though there's some other tanks and units I want to get. I feel like having him and then being able to use my faction stuff uh, to get a dupe if need be. But you go here, check out the different units that are applied, and you click who you want to choose or who you want to go for. Select them. Wano Luffy appears here or whoever you selected. Now, on this banner, you can use regular gems or use 3000 gems for a temple and you get a guaranteed five star for every temple you do. Now, let's look at the draws here. All right. So 70 draws for a Yonko character and 100 draws for a UR. Also, the guarantee will be reset. If you change your wish here, a remaining draw of the guarantee mechanism will be switched accordingly. If you have enough draws for the hero after you switch, you will get that hero for the next draw after the switch. Total draw times will be kept. So, you know, it's, it's there. It's another way to get it. And uh, I'll show you another way you can get these tickets and where they're sort of coming from. But it's, it's giving you options, but I feel like uh, with the other Wano Kuzan event, and the rest of the URs that are added, it, it's a little convoluted. All right, is put your money up essentially, or you know, SOL. All right, so here we are in the events. This one ends in one day and five hours. I don't know why these are timed like this, uh, but you get some elite summon tickets. Now you can't really use these by yourself, but you can add this ticket plus a gem and get one of these tickets. Like, do you understand? Like, it's just sort of taking all these different materials and changing them into different materials to do different summoning, and, which is usually not a problem. But this game has a lot of it. And let's go ahead and do one. I think I actually have two of these. So let's do one more. And there we go. And the, the way you can sort of check and see this is by going into your inventory. All right. So now we got two tickets. That's how you get those. You can also go down and as you saw in the exchange and if you have those items, exchange them differently to get more of these tickets. So here we go. Hey, right off the back, we got 50 uh, regular. <laughs> this this better not be a, a Centomaru or a, a Luchi. So he got that. And then you can see the draw here. Uh, it tells you, that, all right, be careful because this draw will stay here. So if you keep pressing this and you don't have any tickets, this is going to use your gems. You're not going to realize it though until you look up here or back out. So we do have another ticket. Let's go ahead and do another draw. And then we got 200 um, break gems. E <laughs> I don't know. Like everything is on this. this uh, everything is on this banner apparently. But that's why every 10 you get a, a five star character. And then the 70 and then the 100. But something to think about. And then they tell you over here how many draws you got left to, to actually get the unit that you selected. All right, then we got the bag, the inventory, which basically tells you everything you have kept. And for certain items, you can see where you get them. If you get something like this, just remember to go in here, hit max, and then use it. You get 30 minutes hero XP, and uh, that just adds to it right there. So make sure if you see any, any of those, go ahead and use it. 
here we have the voyage refresh tickets now i have 184 because i don't refresh that much but you can use this to sort of keep refreshing until the items you want come up uh preferably being something like um, a golden token will be on there or a different number of uh tokens for certain voyages just refresh until you know you we want to i'm going to save mine until i really feel like going in and going ham on it and getting those refreshes and doing dispatches for specific items all right clans if you're part of a clan every day you want to do your instance you see that get those two uh the part that i'm really here to show you about is the challenge mode now this part is grayed out so what happens is when you come into challenge mode this will be available first make sure to do this this happens earlier in whatever earlier in the day whatever time that uh your your server resets now this part will become available in the second half of the day for this amount of time i think it's like five hours that it's up here for but if you don't if you miss this challenge side you won't be able to plunder anyone so you just miss the whole event like that's that's it you, you missed the first part so now you miss it so make sure you're getting here and doing this first all right once again back in the box here we have the books man now this gets interesting because the books you purchase with rune shards then you get three more and then you need rune shards again to level it up to the next level now this is important to realize because rune shards can be broken down from runes and at the same time if you go over to a rune you can reforge it or you can combine it now five green turn into a blue five blues turn into a purple five purples turn into an orange and then when it comes to reforging you're going to need runes right here and money to go ahead and reforge it to get random stats to see if you want to roll this so and also by doing this you can get a secondary random stat and then two stats down here i've rolled it sometimes so i've kept the same stat up top and only gotten one stat it, it's pretty random all right so here we go ignore 20 percent of targets defense pretty good but sometimes if they have a shield uh we could probably get a better skill here so we go to reforge and you can see we cost 500 and 250k let's do it and we got crit rate and advanced revival all right so as you can see here these rune shards are what you use to buy the books uh just having one at first is going to be good but you're going to want to level these up to get to the next level to get better skills now you also use these to reforge runes like i just showed uh you can refresh these no problem sort of check up for the first three daily you can do this but after you get down below here uh, it's going to cost you 200 runes which isn't uh it isn't too much but i'm noticing that they make you use the currency of that of whatever you're trying to buy to go ahead and uh refresh with all right then of course down here the pirate secrets uh this book is important because this is the only way you can take off a previously used book off a character all right so right here you can reset the skill level by using gems and it'll return the amount of rune shards or Right. Like I said, you use the secret book and then I can get this back and then have the initial one to place on any other unit. If you retire or rebirth, I'm not sure if you get that book back. I know I did it once. I don't remember if I got it back. Someone let me know if I'm right about that. All right. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Put some comments down below, man. Let me know where y'all need help. If you need help once again, and uh, y'all take it easy. One piece. Ha 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 ha.